Hey guys, in this video we are going to be uh, automatically starting uTorrent using Dropbox or uh, downloading uTorrent files remotely through Dropbox. Now, uh, if you for example have two computers, one at home and one on, I don't know, one at work or something or at a university and uh, in those public places most of the time uh, torrent downloading is blocked and if you want to download a torrent uh, in this case, I'm only talking about legal torrents. I do not in any way or any form, uh, uh, what do you call it, talk about the legal side for the torrents. I'm only talking about the legal torrents, okay? Now, if you want to uh, download those torrent files, the legal ones, while you are at work or, I don't know, at a university, and you can't cause you it's blocked with your internet, that you're currently using at work slash university, you can actually use Dropbox to remotely uh, make your home computer download the torrent and automatically copy it into your Dropbox file using a little bit of settings. Now, I'm going to assume that you already have a torrent downloader. I'm going to use uTorrent as my example. So before I do anything, I am going to be creating a new file in my Dropbox folder. So new folder, and I am going to name it uh, torrent folder, okay? Now I am going to start my uTorrent. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the preferences. I think it's the same for Windows and Mac. I'm going to, go to I think you start from general and then ignore all that and I'm going to start go, uh, to go to directories. directories. Now uh, if you go to your directories, there's two options, and there's a couple of ticks, tick boxes, and I'm going. I'm interested in the location of .torrents. Now it says over here on the third one, automatically load .torrents from. Now what that means is you can basically select a directory, and if a .torrent uh, file gets put in there, it's going to start automatically download uh, the .torrent or it's going to load the .torrent to download that file. So you can actually use this to a remotely download through Dropbox. So I'm going to tick this and then inside here, I'm going to click other and then I'm going to go to Dropbox and a torrent folder and I'm going to click select. Now what that does is whenever I put some, uh, a .torrent file into my torrent folder in Dropbox, it's going to automatically start the torrent and I'm going to delete the loaded torrent because I don't need it anymore and uh, once uh, I want, I'm want, i interested in this as well, location of downloaded files. Now once it's completed I want to actually move this file to the Dropbox and torrent folder so that not only you're remotely uh, making your home computer download the torrent file torrent file, yep, but you're actually wanting to copy that torrent over to the Dropbox so that you can download it through Dropbox which isn't blocked in most cases. So with these two plus one optional settings you can actually uh, download, drop, uh, download torrent files through Dropbox. Say for example you're now currently, uh, where's my, there we go, where's my Dropbox folder? Now, say, imagine you're currently using your other computer, your work or university computer, and job, uh, torrenting is blocked. However, you have your home computer where Dropbox is open and uTorrent is on with that specific settings I showed you a couple seconds ago. Now, are we are going to download torrent? So, I'm going to go to my downloads where I downloaded a torrent file. It's a completely legal one, Arma 2 Free, which is the legal. Uh, torrent for the free version of Arma 2 and I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go back to Dropbox and then I'm going to put it into my torrent folder like so. Now once it finished uh, that it's, it says torrent auto added and the torrent file got deleted because it has loaded. Now if I go to my uh, uTorrent you can actually see that the Arma 2 setup has actually started uh, downloading and the file, uh, the file size is one gigabyte. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to complete the download. I'm just going to stop it and remove it because I don't want it. However, that was a really neat way of uh, downloading 
uh, torrent files through Dropbox. All you need to do is you can uh, create a folder inside Dropbox or just use the uh, the default Dropbox location. Uh, go to uTorrent, change the settings in the directories so that uh, it automatically starts uh, downloading the torrent once it it's in a specific once the .torrent file is in a specific directory, and once the file, the downloaded file is finished, it's going to move to your Dropbox so that you can actually sync it through Dropbox and get the file. So uh, yeah, that was a really neat, easy trick to downloading torrent files using remotely using Dropbox or through Dropbox.